Hey guys, I'm Jess McDonald. It is the 26th of February and you're watching that show on that website hosted by that Australian chick. Thanks for that. In what I promise is my first and only Xbox One story for the day, Daisy's Din Hall says exciting things are coming to the console. Naturally, with a lead like that, he followed it up by saying that he can't share any details, but he told Eurogamer that in his meetings with Microsoft, there were things that came up which made him say, wow, that's interesting, why don't you tell people that? Hall also had serious discussions with Sony about releasing a console version of DayZ, though he suggested that it's probably almost a year off hitting the market. He said that the full PC version of the game is expected to launch sometime in the spring or summer of 2015. On top of all that, this week Hall also confirmed that he'll be leaving the DayZ development team and going back to New Zealand, because Sheep and Lord of the Rings are better than zombies. Let me know what you reckon the Xbox One's secret weapon is in the comments. Rockstar have got themselves into hot water again today by pissing off yet another rich chick from Hollywood. It's pretty much the same story as last time too. It seems like GTA 5 may have gotten a little too close to real life as they reinterpret the lives of the Hollywood elite because now former Mob Wives star Karen Gravano wants $40 million as a result of Rockstar allegedly copying her image and life story. Her lawyer is arguing that the character Antonio Bottino is based on her and she wasn't compensated or credited for the role. In a hilarious example of what GTA 5 has certainly strongly alluded to in the game, Antonia is told by her father that she isn't allowed to star in a fictional show called Wise Bitches. Let me know if you reckon Rockstar is in the wrong here or not and why or why not. And for our last story of the day, some sad news as God of War Deb Sony Santa Monica Studio gets hit with some massive layoffs. Sony confirmed the job cuts but hasn't commented on the speculation over whether this has resulted in the cancellation of an in-development PS4 game. Sony have said the reason for the job losses is as a result of a cycle of resource realignment against priority growth areas. So basically your standard PR and marketing speak. You can let me know your thoughts on any of today's stories in the comments down below or you can do so on my Twitter where I'm at Jess McDonald. Oh and also Titanfall will only be taking up 20 gigabytes of your Xbox One hard drive space, not 40. So yay for that. Those are all the things that I have to tell you today but be sure to join me again same time tomorrow for a whole bunch more news. I'll see you later.